This is the Conqueror GC. This is a British Tier 10 SPG, and the map is Fjord. Uh, so most of my American and British vehicles say Hunter on the side, and they've got that little pirate emblem. And the reason why I do that is because of my philosophy when playing the game. I hunt down the enemy. And, you know, if I just do it because I get bored playing. Uh, it's something that I started doing many years ago. I was playing, oh, I'm going to get 3,200 damage in this game. I was playing the game Civ Five or something like that. And the way I normally played was that I would build up my defenses until I had overwhelmingly strong defense. Look at that. I got 1379 damage on the STB-1. Did that many times that weekend. So I would build up overwhelmingly strong forces and defenses, and then I would w wait until the end of the game to launch my attack, and I would do one massive attack and win. And then I realized you could just attack at the beginning of the game and win at the beginning of the game, and then why are you spending all this time playing this game? Uh, so then what I started to do was a different strategy. I said, you know what, I'm going to try a different strategy. I'm going to try to just go at the beginning of the game and attack and see what happens. And I started applying it uh, to other video games. Uh, that was 351 damage on the IS-7. Uh, I've told this story many times. I was sitting on Redshire. The game started. And back in the day, nobody knew what to do at the start of the game. And we all just sat at the cap. And usually what happens is the highest tier vehicle, as soon as he moves, everybody follows him. And I was like, you know, the teams are random. Everyone on my team is afraid of the other team. Everyone on the other team is afraid of my team. We're all hiding from each other. Why don't I just run out and see what's out there? And I started doing that, and I started learning uh, to hunt the enemy down, uh, which is why I have Hunter on all of my uh, tanks from English-speaking nations and the pirate logo, obviously, for the same reason. I actually had a game where I was playing in the T-26E4 on Westfield, and I had the hunter with the pirate logo, and there was an enemy T-26E4 hunter with the pirate logo, and I ended up uh, taking him out of the game. We were going at it one-on-one, -on -one, but I was the victor. Uh, this is a position that I like to play so that I can go after the E-100 and the s to be one I did get my first gun mark on this vehicle. Uh, I had to make some changes. I had to go after medium tanks instead of heavy tanks, high hit point tanks instead of low hit point tanks, like no more one shots. I got 413 on the Kronwagen. One thing that I discovered, you know, since they nerfed it, it used to be you could do, you could one shot any vehicle. But when they nerfed it, I believe it was in 2018. You see there's an EBR next to me. Uh, I was too slow to adjust my gameplay. There, you know, it, it is, does make sense to go after heavy tanks because they're slow, they're bigger, they stay grouped together, easier to hit, uh, hard for your allies to damage, so you're doing your allies a favor. The score is 3-3. Three to three. Oh, I nailed him for 313. I love the FV215B183. I just got the FV4005. It's a great tank. Uh, I do have a clan called CBSPG. Don't forget to join it if you like to play SPG. You can play with other SPG players. And, and there's people that play more than half their games SPG. They're out there. Oh, look at that EBR. He's a sneaky guy. What do you think is going to happen? Is it going to be a love match? Oh, yeah, he's out of the game. Crazy Joker. He lost 328 hit points. And I pushed him just for the heck of it. Score 6 to 5. There's Nesty. The AMX 50B. He'd be hard to hit, but not impossible. You, the way you know if you can hit somebody is you got to watch those red dots. Uh, it would be nice if they did it uh, based on the area 
So right now there is the circumference, but if they did like an area, like a shaded area, that might improve uh, the the targeting area. Uh oh, Progetto, what's gonna happen? Yeah, I fired too quickly. Uh, that's too bad. Okay, Raj. Okay, so I got 3,200 damage in this game. I must have had some blind shots. Let's see what happens. Of course, 9 to 7. Look at how fast those tanks move. Oh. Is that an AMX M454? Going with the SOS. Love Cream. Out of the game. Nesty killed Love Cream. You can see that my team is swarming on that position. It's only going to be a matter of time before they finish off uh, the remaining tanks in the game. Lionel Viviani with the IS-7. I really, I mean, I know that the IS-7 is a good tank, but I really don't enjoy playing it. You see, he used an amazing side-scraping position. I think the Kronwagen is going to drown himself. You see what he's doing? Okay, maybe he's not. But he's out of the game, and that's all that matters. That's going to show up in a video. And we're victorious, obviously, because of me. The score was 15 to 8. I got 3,200 damage in the after-game stats. Took out one enemy tank. He totally deserved it. Uh, it was at EBR 105. Um, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch.